Recently, I showed you how to add icons to your navigation bar in Google Sites. Came across another thing I wanted to share. So when you come into Google Sites and you go to embed the code, uh, you can embed code from any site that has uh, that share embed code. Um, you can certainly do it as an iframe, but you can also put in uh, a block of text. So here's one where poll everything is embedded. And so that's what the code looks like for that. You can embed a Padlet. You can do Flipgrid. You can do a bunch of different things. But you can also use an HTML editor and come up with your own HTML. And you can even style it with CSS. And this could include using different Google fonts that aren't part of the template for your Google site. Uh, it can include adding all kinds of extra HTML that you, aren't, that you aren't able to inside of a Google site. So I just happen to use this particular online HTML editor. If you use something like Dreamweaver or some other online tools, uh, you can uh, grab your code that way as well. So if you have a rich text editor, then you're able to do a lot of other things that you can't do uh, in Google Sites. Once you get your text and your code all set the way you want it to, you just copy that. You come over to your Google Site and you choose to embed. And don't do it by URL. Do the actual embed code. And you can paste all of that in there. And that includes uh, a head section. So this is where sometimes you have to put a additional code. Um, and so you can actually do that inside this HTML section. And you can click Next. It'll show you a preview. And when you insert it, you can then uh, resize it. I have a version down here already resized. So that's what that looks like. And when I publish it, now I have parts of my page that I would not have been able to format that way in Google Sites. It's not the easiest hack in the world, um, but it, uh, it can give you a chance to, to add a little bit more to your Google Site.